Today, I'd like to speak to you about receiving God's strength. I'm going to read you from Isaiah chapter 40, starting at verse 29. He gives power to the weak, and to those who have no might, he increases strength. Even the youths shall faint and be weary, and the young men shall utterly fall. But those who wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles, and they shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Isaiah chapter 40 is truly a great chapter. And one of the major themes in that great chapter is the greatness and glory of God. Isaiah told us to behold your God in Isaiah chapter 40, verse 9. He told us the greatness of God as a shepherd in verse 11. He told us that God's hand is big enough to measure the waters of the earth and that he's big enough to weigh the mountains on a scale in verse 12. He told us that the nations are like a drop in God's bucket in verse 15 and that no animal sacrifice is great enough for him in verse 16. And he told us that nothing is equal to God in Isaiah chapter 40, verse 25. Now, after all that, Isaiah applied it to the situation of those who needed strength. He wrote, he gives power to the weak. After explaining all the greatness and glory of God, now Isaiah explained another benefit that we can receive from God. He gives us his great power. Now notice who God gives power to, the weak, and to those who have no might, he increases strength. Those who are proud and confident in their own wisdom and strength will receive no strength from God. Yet, even the youths shall faint and be weary. Those who thought themselves strong now find themselves weak. God's strength is reserved for those who know they are weak and who know that they have no might. So the promise remains, but those who wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. Now, how do we receive this strength from the Lord? We receive it as we wait on the Lord. The idea behind wait on the Lord is not a passive sitting around until the Lord does something. Yes, God gives us strength, but we don't expect it to come as if he were pouring it into us as we just sit around passively. God brings strength to us as we seek him, as we rely on him, instead of our own strength. If we are weak, it's because we do not wait on the Lord. We're also told that we renew our strength It is a strength that was once received when we first came to the Lord in weakness and no might. Then that strength is renewed in us as we wait on the Lord. Well, what does this strength look like? (laughs) Look at the words that we read together. It says, they shall mount up with wings like eagles. This is the measure of strength the Lord gives us. Strength to soar above everything else. It says, they shall run and not be weary, and they shall walk and not faint. This is the purpose of strength the Lord gives us. Strength to move forward and make progress for him. It isn't strength to show off, but strength to go forward. Then it says that weak here in Isaiah chapter 40, verse 29, and faint in verse 30, they're the same ancient Hebrew word, which means failure through loss of inherent strength. But the word weary in verse 30 is a different word, which means exhaustion because of the hardness of life. If we are worn out for either reason, either the strength just isn't in us or the outside pressures are so exhausting, God is here to give us strength if we will wait on him. Now, finally, notice the order because it seems strange. First, it says, we mount up with wings like eagles. Then we run. Finally, we walk. Doesn't that kind of seem a little backwards to you? Not at all. First, we recognize that we soar up into heavenly places in Christ Jesus. Then we set ourselves on the course to run the race. Then we are in a good place to walk the walk that God gives us. Friends, God's strength, it's there, it's here, for you today. So 
mount up with wings like eagles, with your eyes on the great God who gives us strength. You can walk in that strength today.